This Bitters 101 class is officially in session. I'm here to talk about what bitters are, where they've been, what they do, and how to use them. Bitters are the balancing component of a cocktail. They infuse complex blends of various ingredients, including aromatics, spices, botanicals, fruits, and more, with neutral spirits to layer and balance flavor within drinks. Angostura Bitters is the world's top selling and oldest bitters brand in production, and has played a transformative role in cocktails and bar culture dating back nearly 200 years. Think of Angostura Aromatic Bitters as the salt and pepper of the cocktail world, a dash of seasoning that balances the various ingredients and flavor profiles of a drink, bringing the overall experience of a cocktail to life. Many cocktails, like the Old Fashioned and Manhattan, call for a dash or two of Angostura to add complexity and round out the other flavors of the other ingredients. But the magic of Angostura goes far beyond the classics. You know, after all, the drink becomes a cocktail when it is dashed with bitters. Well, not necessarily bitter per se, cocktail bitters generally have some bitter notes, and ultimately, to be considered bitters, they, they must have at least one bittering agent. Wormwood, gentian, these are two things that are common bittering agents. But the sky is the limit with the other ingredients. Well, while I explain the story of Angostura bitters, I, I'm gonna begin building an old fashioned. The iconic cocktail brand is named for the town of Angostura, Venezuela, where the bitters were first produced. The town is now called Ciudad Bolivar, but back in 1824, a German expat by the name of Dr. Johann Siegert, who was the appointed Surgeon General in revolutionary Simon Bolivar's army, first created the now famous aromatic bitters as a digestive aid for the Venezuelan troops. When Dr. Siegert's sons took over the family business, they moved it to Trinidad in 1870 and the company continues to operate on the island today. It was sometime around the 1870s when one of Dr. Siegert's sons, Don Carlos, realized that the complex flavors of his dad's medicinal blend also perfectly complemented the elements of his cocktail uh, or food when incorporated or dashed in moderation. Ah, the art of the dash. So by this point, I've added whiskey, water, ice, and simple syrup to my old fashioned. And it is time now to dash in some Angostura aromatic and orange bitters. A dash of bitters is essentially one drop-like pour performed by holding the bottle upright, like so. And you should try to create like a half circle as you flip the bottle upside down and cleanly dash it into your mixing glass or your cocktail directly. So here we go, one dash. Of Hey, a two dash. -a. There we go. Two dashes of Angostura bitters in there. I'm going to throw in a dash of Angostura orange bitters because it is a nice thing to add to an old fashioned. While a couple of dashes might seem insignificant or meaningless, uh, Angostura bitters packs a lot of flavor in each of these tiny drop sized doses. And I'm going to garnish this one with a twist of orange. You will be surprised at how a few dashes of Angostura bitters brings a cocktail to life. Very good. Well, Dr. Secret's original aromatic bitters blend is still used today, but it is a top secret recipe. It is said that only five people in the whole world know the exact ingredients. What we do know is that it is comprised of a secret mixture of aromatic herbs, barks, spices, roots, and botanicals that are infused with a high-proof spirit. Angostura Bitters is most recognizable by its historical oversized white label and bright yellow cap. The quirky label was initially a production fluke, but it's now the brand's distinguishing feature. Uh, as legend has it, the too big label came into being when the Secret Brothers divided their, their tasks, with one brother winding up responsible to secure the labels, and the other brother uh, responsible for sourcing the bottles. The two miscommunicated about the sizes, and that resulted in a mistakenly oversized label that to this day remains the brand's signature. 
Well, aromatic bitters was the first type of bitters and is the most popular. Aromatic bitters are typically more bitter than more contemporary flavors like Angostura Orange Bitters, which was launched in 2007 as the brand's first new bitters flavor since the original recipe debuted in 1824. The complex blend of lighter spectrum flavors derived from tropical orange citrus notes and zesty spices, Angostura Orange Bitters is a clear-hued fruit bitters that pairs perfectly with white spirits like gin. Angostura also launched its third ever bitters innovation, Cocoa Bitters in 2020, marking a milestone launch for the brand. Rich and dark brown in hue, Angostura Cocoa Bitters infuses sumptuous top notes of rich, nutty cocoa, balanced with botanicals and light spice notes with a lasting bitter finish and floral and citrus undertones. Basically, any bar containing the three bitters flavors from Angostura is well stocked in its bitters collection. You can't make a classic cocktail without Angostura aromatic bitters, but you can accent it by adding or swapping in the other flavor profiles from the Angostura bitters line. Together, these three flavors complement the gamut of spiced, fruity, vegetal, and nutty cocktails from sours to fizzes to low balls and more. Each flavor within this trinity brings to life balances ingredients and delivers flavor complexity that elevate mixed drinks into cocktails. Look, the bottom line is that these little bottles are cocktail essentials. They belong in every professional and every home bar. And there you have it. Class dismissed.